is made of gold, a royal gold crown, and a stool looted in 1874 by the British Army ended up in the Fuller Museum, California, USA. Diplomatic talks between the Santa Hene and the Board of Trustees of the Museum saw the return of these ornaments. They are here for good. A grand deba dubbed Kuntunkunikase tells the story of the past. On this day, every paramount chief in the Shanti Kingdom wore a black regalia. The Santa Hene's regalia is unique and it is a symbol of ensomenshe to wit, don't dare me. He chose this occasion to wear the regalia to reflect events of January and February of 1874, when the Asante army clashed with the British for supremacy. The Battle of Amuafo and Kumase. Collection of what happened so in 1874, resilient. when so the Asante strength. kingdom gathered Celebrated like this, and took the ultimate decision to declare war on the British army. The battle was led by the Bantamahene, who is Utunfo's warlord. If the British really had wanted our territory, they would have stayed. But the fact that they were, you know, um, sort of um, championing the interests of certain people, they had to leave. To the British government, the return of these ornaments further strengthens the bond between the two countries with the Mensha Palace as the trigger. The Santa Hene stress the need for national unity towards achieving a collective goal. The first batch of the artifacts will be kept at the Mensha Palace Museum for public viewing.